were thinking about changing the front of the, we're gonna repaint the camper, not the walls. We're gonna leave the walls the same color that they already are, but we're having peeling occurring on the wood. So they put like a, I don't know, what you want, compact paper? Wasn't that what you called it, Jim? Yeah. On some of the wood. So we're gonna sand it down and we're gonna paint it probably uh, white or tan that matches this. So I don't want the dark um, look look on the refrigerator. So Jim says I can remove these panels. Plus I would like to make it some of this magnet because I'm always wanting to put a couple like notes or whatever on there and I can't because that has no mag magnetism I guess. What is it's the word? Just not magnetic. <laughs> magnetic. <laughs> I sometimes make up my own words, but anyways, so he's gonna show me how to take this apart and if you guys would ever want to. These panels should come out and probably can just paint these panels with some uh, whiteboard paint, which is I think is magnetic, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway. Well, we can check into that, but first I was trying to figure out how to get the panels apart themselves. Did you snap so, on? There's a little clip here. So there's little clips? There's, it's, it's a panel. If you move your fingers, I can see the other ones. Well, and they clip on. Okay. I don't know how good my video was there. So he's just taking a screwdriver. I'm always on the wrong side of you. Oh, so you just stick, stick the little, there, see those little clips? He just takes the screwdriver. There we go. So what he did was, you can see these. So I can't see them myself. So these are little clips right there. And when it's sitting on the drawer, he just puts the screwdriver down in there and moves the clips. And it takes the clip and bends it just enough that you can pop the top bar out. Once that bar Once that bends bars, that piece is off, that trim piece. Yeah. And this door panel. Just lifts up. Slides right up. Oh, and it's wood. It's actual. Uh oh. Houston. But. Hence is a problem. Hence a problem. Well, hang on. Wait a minute, we can bend it. Here. It's plywood. Can't you just bend it? We could open it up the rest of the way and bend it towards me. There we go. I'll keep bending it. He's back there somewhere. Hey, and voila. Comes out. It's a little bit of bending and... A little bit of prying. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the top one. And then this that's is magnetic. Guess not. Guess not. <laughs> Check it. Let's see. Kill our bear. My bear. My Alaska bear. How does this thing come off? Yeah, no, it's not magnetic. Uh, same way. This oh, that thing? It's. It's velcroed? Probably. I don't know if it's velcroed or glued. Uh, not glued. It would be one of those 3 a.m. It sounds like it feels like it goes up and down. I didn't put it on, so I don't know. Uh, oh no, the whole panel's moving. No, that's the whole panel. So you want this two off? Or are you gonna leave this? It's up to you. I'm gonna leave that on it, but I like to paint around it. So, so it's off. the same color, yeah, if that's possible. Should be the same thing. So, same way with that. That one, you should have took the bottom one off. Does the bottom come off? I don't know. Does it? Hit the bend up underneath there. Probably does. does. So, on the freezer, we just take that one off. Same way. You should probably put these back on without the 
thing being on there so we don't break it. Okay. And or is there a ledge that it won't come down? Oh no. It'll come down. Now I can see how to get that off. Okay. Much easier. Much, much easier. Those are the two refrigerator panels. I got the sandpaper out with the sander. So we're just roughing it up so we can paint it. And then I'll wipe it off with a rag to do magnetic so that I can put post-it notes um, with a magnet magnet for myself for groceries or gyms to do this and stuff like that and we still have a magnet board that we're going to hook to the top one uh, our whiteboard so that's what we decided to go with so now we're going to wipe this off and paint it this magnetic primer paint is very very thick isn't it Jim we did not pick up a stir stick to say I have taped some fast food place straws together with duct tape and that's what Jim is using as a stirrer and as you can see hold it up show how clumpy it is it is very clumpy so this is gonna take a while to stir now once you paint your magnetic paint on there you can actually after it dries for four hours if you want to you can apply another coat of paint of color over top of it which we may do we may end up painting it the color that we're going to paint the camper it's called primer it's not a paint yeah okay the two straws didn't work too good but i found two sticks and i taped them together and they basically made a paint stir a miniature one is it working much better it's working good enough of course the wind had to pick up problem is where do we put this to dry that it doesn't blow away or get dirt all over it it only needs one hour how about recoat time uh the coat it just says to paint over top of it is four hours so jim has put three coats of paint magnetic paint on here and we can in four hours paint it with the color we want to do it but he wants to put a fourth coat on it just to give it a little bit more coverage our new color oh this is the new color you can only put one coat of paint over the magnetic paint or it won't work so there may be a few little runs but I think it'll be okay this one was going to have a whiteboard on it after we painted anyways. That's my to-do list and Jim's to-do list. Either our videos or what we want to work on or where we want to go. So, should be good. How's the paint like putting on? It's pretty good. It's cabinet pretty nice paint. paint yeah. It's cabinet paint, isn't we'll see it? See how tough it is. It's the key. Yeah. We finished the painting of the refrigerator doors, panels, and we use the magnetic paint that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's, and you brush it on or you roll it on, and then you top coat it with whatever coat or whatever paint you want. Finish. You need just a latex paint, and this is the end result that we got from it. And you can't really, I don't know if you can see it too close or not, but it's really rough. 
the texture is super rough and we even sanded it lightly um, before we put, put the latex top coat on but overall we're not really I mean we like the color of the paint but we're not really too happy with the the texture that this came out you can see every little roller mark um, and it, it does make it magnetic but just barely magnetic I mean the little bear guy stays here but he just barely staying on well he's pretty heavy but no that's how he stays stays on the other magnetic stuff too he doesn't have a good magnet this one actually does and it has something heavy in it staying so it it does the, this one here I like how it turned out it's this one that I don't like but I'm gonna put a, a whiteboard here anyways because I always put our to do th things so it's okay I'm not gonna repaint it and sand it down I just wouldn't recommend this to anybody so if I was to do it again I'd just go to the store buy some whiteboard uh, paneling that they sell it's cheap just have it cut to size and fit it in but it took a whole quart to do these two panels right. of the paint and we did four coats and it could be the climate we're in because right now we're currently in California and it's dry so fast here that the paint doesn't dry properly it dries too fast well we've come to the conclusion we just don't like it so we're going to remove it again and put in whiteboard panels the top one looks good the bottom one does not and we don't like the color the color is okay but it doesn't contrast enough so we're going with a little bit of lighter cutter color for the cabinets so because we're changing the color we decided to change the refrigerator do it again so here we go again of course it doesn't it's not magnetic but it is whiteboard and it looks 100 percent better than the wood that was in there originally or the magnetic board that we painted so we're happy with this don't buy the magnetic paint unless you absolutely want it and you have a controlled environment where you can paint it and let it dry properly um, but don't try to do it when you're out camping and into changing or painting your your door it is really easy just to pull the panel out and paint it if you just want to paint it or if you want to buy a board like this that is the um, whiteboard it was only seven dollars and something at Home Depot the magnetic paint is super expensive it was close to twenty two dollars for just a quart wasn't it a quart oh, was it that much? yeah it was twenty two dollars and this whiteboard is only seven dollars at Home Depot and we were able to cut both the refrigerator door and the freezer door out of one sheet so we really hope that this video will help you if you're trying to make that decision because that magnetic paint did not hold those magnets even though i said it was kind of holding it it wasn't they, they kept falling off so it didn't work it was a complete failure so a better so. way to go about this is go to home depot buy a sheet of this uh, whiteboard material cut it in our in our case one piece fit both and it was much easier to do a whole lot less time it's not magnetic but we use it for a whiteboard. That's what we wanted it that's for. That's what we really wanted it for anyways. We have place. a little board that's mag magnetic. So we hope this video helped you. Please give us a thumbs up. Yep, the thumbs ups help. Please subscribe. And we love those comments. So any comments you have, please let us know. Thank you. Thanks for watching.